Hello and greetings. Today on this magical workshop, we are discussing magic journals, documenting thy path. The power of written. The faintest ink is more valuable than the best memory. From the great spiritual teacher, Resting in paradise, Chagyam Trungpa. We all think and we all have our own personal thoughts, but it is when we put them down on paper, when we transmit that mental energy into the physical realm, that is when the true power becomes manifested. It's when Thoughts are transcribed into words that people can be enlightened, people can be taught. So there is a lot of power your words can have for you in your life. The importance of a journal. A journal keeps track of your experiences, your emotions, effects, and results while on your practical magical path. And this is what is making it practical. You're actually putting out effort to truly see the direction you're going instead of just holding on to certain ideologies, other people's thoughts and energies and just going with the flow of things. You're actually trying to digest what's going on in your mind and then put it on paper or some sort of digital device. True meaning may only come after you've analyzed and considered past entries. This is uh, very vital so you can truly hold on to and solidify what has happened and then experience future events that might be similar and um, that's when you can truly finally understand what has happened. Certain magical operations such as astral, astral projection or dreaming or divination obtain specific information from different realms or dimensions or different planes that must be recorded or be lost and forgotten. We all sometimes remember dreams and sometimes we don't remember any dreams but the importance is that eventually you will be able to remember all your dreams. Eventually you'll have a stronger grasp on your memory and will have even a stronger grasp on what is to come. A journal allows you to observe your success and faults openly without any doubt, guilt, or shame. You're just writing things as they are. This is a great way to um, plan methods to break habits, maintain positive routines, and empower yourself from the inside out. And I think most importantly, a journal really strengthens the link between the non-physical and the physical. It truly opens your subconscious and you have um, more of a control with it. You know, you can see that it's not just a coincidence that what you wrote is manifesting. You can see um, when you write out certain emotions, you can't even... Um, we create such emotions such as like sadness because it's already out there on paper and if it's on paper millions and billions of people could possibly be reading it you know so it kind of it really eases the connection between the mental energies and the physical energies so creating a journaling system uh, is actually pretty simple once you break it down and once you break it down and stay consistent with the system then that's when you really start seeing a lot of progress so three main categories, um, you can either have three journals or um, three sections in a journal. Me personally, I like to just really um, label everything with each entry, so I only use uh, one journal at a time, you know. But you have um, the dream section, magical operations, and life events. The key is to try to be as factual as possible and Leave out any personal interpretation. You're trying to turn off the reactive mind. You're trying to turn off the dialogue in your mind and just um, be simple and direct. You know, just be straight to the point. And this allows your journal entries to not be so 
long because usually when people think of journals, you know, you're writing three pages of how your day is. And for here, we're trying to be almost scientific in a way, but, you know, still kind of casual. So, you know, you want to add the time and date, location, moon, your certain mood phase, I mean, your certain mood, and um, the weather. This, this allows you, so whenever you do, or if you do reread a certain entry, you can truly um, be there in the moment. I find it really interesting because I might have a journal entry that's like 3 a.m. Or I might have one that's at 7 in the morning, you know, and that really speaks to you, you know, like, or, you know, a journal entry like 11 at night on a Friday, you know, it's like, wow, I, I wasn't out with anyone. Oh, wow, this is how I was feeling at this time at night. It really allows you to truly um, recreate the entry. So um, it goes to rereading. You, you really don't want to reread entries because you're trying to let the energy flow. You know, it's okay to go back here and there, but especially for maybe more sad or depressing entries, it really kind of interferes with the whole aspect of journaling. But you do want to make periodic reviews from time to time. And um, once you put, you know, your thoughts in your journal, you want to kind of let it go. Because this writing, it's solidifying um, certain mental energies. And um, this is Im important because there's going to be so many entries every day and you can't possibly be rereading them. Like, why would you spend your present time uh, rereading certain entries? So we have the dream journal. You want to keep this journal really close by your bed and record as soon as you can after waking up so you don't um, forget the dream. And you want to be as detailed as possible, but every little detail counts. So even if you could just record um, just a little bit, like the sky was blue or I was running or I was with this person, that, that's all right. You know, so um, calm your mind. Don't force yourself to remember, you know, and that's when you can truly just grab on to um, whatever that dream was. And sometimes I find it nice to hold on to a specific image or a sensation. Um, sometimes you might feel cold or hot in a dream. And the more you record, the stronger your dream memory becomes. Um, for me now, like I feel like I can remember at least a certain aspect of every dream. And um, it's really great, you know, it allows you to truly grow and develop. Sometimes I feel like um, I'm more social in my dreams than in this reality. And um, there's a lot of lessons to be learned. And I feel that the dreams just give a direct link to what's really going on day to day with your emotions. So we have the Magical Operations Journal. This is probably um, my favorite one because this records all your magical rituals, meditations, spells, energy work, and afterthoughts. Um, after effects or thoughts of spiritual activities. So this is really important because you don't want to just be rushing through your practices or you might have had a really great meditation and felt some otherworldly energies and it's really important to write that down because where else are you gonna think of s some of these beautiful um, thought patterns. Um, plan out your practices so you can um, revise and improve for the future. You know, this, this allows you to truly systematically grow instead of just having this random progression and then degression, you know. Um, so you can see where you gain success and where you failed. So please just analyze everything and record coincidences and synchronicities because as what I've learned, um, soon it's not really a coincidence, you know. And it starts to become really fun, you know. Your reality starts to, to mold and modify around you. So um, at the end of your operation journals every few weeks or so, you want to rate your performance and do uh, periodic reviews because um, a lot of spiritualists, they may be walking in failure, you know, in certain aspects for, for years or decades, you know, because they don't analyze, because they just, you know, go to Hawaii, have a great time and leave. They didn't, they didn't write down anything. They didn't think about you know, how did that truly make me feel? What's really going on? So life events. Here you will record your day-to-day -day personal events. This can be from hour to hour or day to day. But you just want to um, 
highlight the most important parts of your day or what truly affects you, you know, like, you could look back a few years later and it's not really important that, you know, you drank lemonade, you ate this, um, this person said this joke, but truly what affects you, you know? I feel like I can go and review um, past entries and they still have a huge effect on me and I could still learn from them. They're not too personal or egotistical. Um, the more often you write, the more control you have in your life, you know? Um, you'll start behaving and doing things in ways that you wouldn't want to record you know because that's just not how you feel you want to exist or you want to express yourself it, the journaling becomes a true um, honesty test a true test of honesty this is a great way to work out troubles and issues because with journaling you face life in a direct manner um, you don't just think of things in your head and just, you know, have no boundaries because it's just your mind, you know, like no one's going to hear your thoughts. But when you start truly writing down how you feel and what you do, um, you start becoming more honest with your troubles and your issues and your emotions. And once again, uh, just no less in interpretation. Um, try to be as egoless as possible if you can and just record reality as it is. So when you do your journal reviews, you want to do them uh, every now and then and try and do them in third person. This allows you to retrospect and not have any bias or attachments to what you wrote. And you can observe your growth and your progression this way and make sure to be open and honest to your success and your failures. And um, create a new entry for the review and just think how you can grow from there, think how you can progress. You'll be amazed how far you've come just even in a month, you know, just even in a week of journaling. This is uh, different from rereading because there should be some time in between the reviews and it's really analytical. Um, you'll be like rating and scaling yourself and um, just treating yourself once again in third person like maybe if you were your manager, you know, and then do a review, you know, and treat, you know, your life as you know, a uh, sole em employment of sorts. Like you are being, um, you are working on this planet, you know, as soul work. And every month or so you're reviewing to see how good you're doing. It's not like you're going to be fired or anything, but we want you to do as best as you possibly can since you're gaining all these magical tools. So um, some final important notes um, try not to share your journal with others, and if possible, don't let others touch your journal. Um, the energy is sacred to you, and the thoughts are sacred to you. Um, you really don't have to share it with anyone, unless I say, unless it's like your intimate partner, your wife, or your girlfriend, or your twin flame. I'd say maybe that's the only exception, because there's already a level of honesty. But for anyone else, it's irrelevant. Um, and most importantly, don't assume everything is caused from magic or your spiritual development. Um, things are still as they are, and thinking like that can really throw you into a nasty spiral. I'll just leave it at that. Um, and consistency is the key to growth in anything. So just be consistent with your journaling, be consistent with your honesty, and um, be creative too. These are general guidelines, and I feel um, anyone can journal, but this is a great system to make sure you're journaling the best while on your magical path. Thank you, and uh, make sure to keep up on your journals. Uh, this is my current journal, and uh, this is not necessarily a retired journal, but I say I put more of the... Because we're all human, but I put more of a darker energy in here. But this is like the basic um, journal I keep everything in. And it's really generally pretty positive. But um, anything like that's just experimental, I put in the black book. <laughs> Peace.